you know, if you're going to be in crypto, Switzerland's a very good place. If you look at a lot of other blockchains, you know, near protocol, they're in Switzerland, Solana, they're in Switzerland. So it's just a very, very, you know, you know, friendly country. So it's a great place. So they're inviting entrepreneurs in and they really love crypto. So I think Zurich is a great home for Definity. Okay, that's good. That's good. And <clears throat> I think more than just like why they're over there, what's going on over there, uh, what what is it like? You know, what, what, uh, what is it like going over there? And being in Zurich, and I know uh, the other day I had an interview. It was an interview with Don for ICP Squad, and uh, I was I was asking Andrew like, "Hey, what's the food like over there?" And he was like, "Oh, Mexican food is so expensive." And I was like, "Oh no, man, I live in Mexico, so Mexican food is not expensive here." But uh, what what can you tell us about that? Like the atmosphere, and I guess just what what is it like? Yeah, so I spent a month over there and I'm from just for, you know, context, I'm from the United States. I'm from Virginia, right outside Washington, D.C. So, yeah, shout out to anyone from the DMV if you're watching. But anyways, it's pretty cool out there. I will say compared to your normal American city, it's a lot cleaner. It's a lot safer. Um, the food, to be honest, I'm not too big of a fan of the food over there. And yeah, it is pretty expensive. I will say that the McDonald's. It's really expensive, like compared to an American McDonald's, it's pretty crazy. It costs like a normal meal at McDonald's, like, you know, 20 francs, which is a little more than $20 or something around there. So it's pretty cool out there, though. I definitely, you know, I like it a lot. And yeah, I mean, there's a lot of touch on that with the uh, Zurich. So. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I actually had a, a bad experience with McDonald's. I, I was also from the, in, I lived in the United States and I'm living in Mexico now. And uh, one day out of nowhere, I'm just like, man. I'm really craving a double quarter pounder with cheese. Just one of those cravings. <laughs> and I went to a McDonald's that's a couple of minutes. So I had to like drive kind of far because I live in, in rural Mexico. And I have to go to like like the next city over. And I'm like, I'm going to buy a double quarter pound with cheese. And I bought it. And I was so excited. And then I bit it. And I was like, oh, <laughs> it didn't taste good. It didn't taste the same. It was, uh, it was like it was different uh, it, from the Texas McDonald's. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty interesting because – it's, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys know that Switzerland's like pretty big on chocolate. So the chocolate's really, really cheap. Like you can get a ton of chocolate for very cheap. And then something like a Big Mac or something, just something like McDonald's is like pretty expensive. Um, I think it's like, you know, the food it's, you know, Zurich is an expensive city. I will say that it's a nice city, but at the same time, and another thing also about Europe, I'm sure, you know, we might have some people in Europe over there and stuff, but if you've never been to Europe, it's like very small. You know, the elevators are very small. They don't have like trucks, you know, in the United States, there's like trucks and stuff. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't realize I was like an American thing or any of that. So yeah, I think it, nice city though. Yeah. I've heard that like people just have like very gas efficient, tiny cars. I think it was because in the United States, the price of gas fluctuates a lot. Uh, so people like having trucks, like you, you'll see like docked, like plastic surgeons driving a, <laughs> a huge GM or F-150, never, ever used it to carry anything, but, uh, but they have it. So <clears throat> that's really good. So let, let's, uh, let's look at some of the questions. I think you wanted to also talk to us about, uh, about what it's like to work in Affinity, but also kind of like, what are you doing there? Wh whatever you can tell us. And then, uh, uh, the grants program, how to become an influencer or an ICP. I know uh, when I first started following you on Twitter, <clears throat> I saw you post content like every day. I would see something, 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 and then I would see threads. And I would see it was very well. I really liked your social media and uh, your YouTube. Some of your YouTube's looked a lot like TikTok, which I think is good for younger folks. They, like the attention span or whatever. I, I think I'm. I consider myself young, but I think I'm becoming a boomer. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's inevitable, right? Uh, and yeah. you, next, next thing you know, I'll be sipping on on a monster energy drink. And <laughs> yep, <laughs> and doing stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, what can you, what can you tell us about that, Aaron? Yeah, so the work I'm doing, Definity, I work with Definity as an independent contractor. I'm part of their special projects team, and I'm really just helping out with content creation, marketing, that kind of stuff. Um, a lot of you guys in the community, I know there's a lot of you know, talk about the marketing, which is why, you know, Definity is starting to do a lot of focusing on marketing. And I hear you guys, I hear what you guys are saying. And for the most part, I agree with a lot of you guys. So I just want to make that very clear. I know I get a lot of DMs from people talking about, hey, you know, we need to work on this, we need to work on that. And I completely agree with, you know, most of the community. So I'm trying to implement a lot of these ideas. And I do think we're definitely, you know, Definity is definitely heading in the correct direction. I do, you know, at the beginning, it was kind of, you know, a lot of focus on R&D and that kind of stuff. But you know, obviously there needs to be some marketing done. So I think that's definitely happening now, though. 
Yeah, I agree. A lot of people that that are worried about marketing, I think they're worried about marketing because they haven't seen anything themselves. But you have to think about it like this: like you're you're already an ICP user. Like there, like you're not if you're not supposed to be seeing things. Like if you're seeing things, that means it's not being done correctly. People who uh, aren't you know, doing any of that are the ones that are supposed to see all of this, all of this content and ads and stuff like that. So I think that's something to consider and, and to, uh, uh, to keep in mind. But uh, let's see if, if you're watching this, by the way, I forgot to say this, I should have said this in the beginning. If you're watching this video, make sure to hit that like button, uh, make sure to hit subscribe. I think I'm on the left hand side, so I'm not sure where it is. I think it's there. Make sure to hit subscribe. Uh, also, on the links, you can follow Aaron on Twitter. I post his, his Twitter. I didn't post his YouTube, but I'll make sure to post his YouTube on there as well after this video is done. Go ahead and follow him. You can also follow me if you want to. Uh, subscribe uh, to the Infinity Swap Loot newsletter. Download the Infinity Swap wallet. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like a sponsored video, but do all of that stuff. It helps us grow and it also helps in marketing. The more likes we get, the more views we get, the more comments we get, the more other people are going to watch these videos. Videos and learn about definitively uh, learn about how what it is and what it's uh, what's done there and stuff like that uh, so the other thing I think you mentioned you also wanted to talk about uh, community grants can you uh, tell us what, what did you want to tell us about that or uh, that type of stuff yeah so you know anyone who's watching this feel free to participate in the community grant submit your community grant this is a great opportunity for you to you know you can basically get, you know, paid to, you know, make content about ICP, host events, all that sort of stuff, basically just help the community out. And I think it's a great opportunity. Um, along with that, I'd like to just talk about content creation. I think content creation is probably one of the biggest opportunities right now for anyone in the ICP ecosystem. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you follow me on YouTube, you know, I talk about this all the time, but it's completely free. You know, Twitter's free, Instagram's free, TikTok's free, YouTube's, you know, free. Of course, you know, you can spend money to make a good video, blah, blah, blah. But personally, I just started, you know, making TikTok videos with just my phone and nothing else. So you don't really need all that. And I think right now it's even really cool with the community grants because, you know, you can get paid to do content. So it's really cool. And I think it's definitely something a lot of you guys should, you know, look at. And we're, I think it's a great program to try and expand, you know, the ICP ecosystem. So. Take a look at that for sure. Yeah, absolutely. That is, uh, I do believe in that kind of stuff. There's a lot of people that can benefit from this and do a lot of videos. Um, the next thing, also, everybody who's watching, write down your questions. This is also an AMA. Ask me anything so you have, if you have questions for Aaron. Uh, Aaron, if you, I can't post them right now with our current settings on the screen, but if you can read them on on your phone or I'll share the screen or something. Uh, but there's there's a couple of questions. Uh, keep writing more questions, guys, and Aaron will uh, see if he has a, a couple of minutes to answer them. The next thing that I uh, wanted to discuss is uh, how can we uh, improve the ecosystem? So your average user, uh, like myself or people watching, how can we improve uh, the ecosystem? So if you're just your average user, I'm gonna say, you know, average meaning make average income, all that stuff. Just posting content is the best way. I know it sounds, I, it's, I keep repeating myself over and over, but really it's taking time to make content about ICP and just making content about Web3 in general is the most beneficial thing you can do. I, you know, I can't explain how important social media is nowadays. I mean, everyone is on it. I'm sure you guys know it. Even your grandma's on TikTok, your grandma's on Instagram, all that stuff. You know, you got to take advantage of it. It's completely free and it's the easiest way to contribute. And actually, you know, it's it, you can make a large, large impact. Recently, we saw Understanding Web3. You guys should definitely go follow them. They had a TikTok that got, I think it has over 8 million views now talking about, you know, projects in the IC ecosystem. And it was just one video. And now they have over like 80,000 followers on TikTok. So and they, that's that's absolutely huge. And once again, it's free to post content. So there's no the barrier to entry is literally just your phone. An internet connection. So I think that's probably the biggest way you can help is just by producing content. And, you know, to tie in with that, once again, we have the community grants program now. So everything goes hand in hand. Yeah, I agree. Uh, a lot of times I'm on my Twitter feed. There's, a, and I'm going to give this example. I'm not trying to give hate or anything, but I've seen some NFT projects that have wonderful, wonderful art. Like I look at it and I'm like, wow, this is such a nice, and I've never seen an NFT like this. And I buy it or whatever, and then their Twitter page almost no post, right? And and and, and you can tell it's not a rug because the artist keeps on making more and more art or something like that, right? Like there's more additions to the first project, but you don't see about it. So you have like you can have the greatest, best NFT, best art. If nobody knows about it, well, it's gonna be nice as a collector's item, right? 
But at the same time, it's not going to be nice as a liquidity item. And as a collector's item, it's also not going to be nice because you want to collect something that other people want, right? The more other people want what you have as a collector's item, the more value it has. Even if it's not monetary value, you have like a rare thing that people want. So that also makes it precious, right? Other than emotional value or stuff like that. And, uh, and I've seen other projects that are very busy on Twitter posting things. And those projects tend to have more volume, more liquidity. And thus, you know, become more popular, or whatever. So, so definitely po post about ICP. I post about ICP or retweet every day, every single day. And because uh, it's a it's a high conviction uh, technology for me. But let's go ahead and read some of the comments. I'll I'll take one. Uh, Daniel James, uh, the big the big marketing boss. He says, "I'd like to know what does a typical day look like for Aaron? What exactly is his role, and how would he define the role of special projects?" What does my typical day look like? Jeez. So I wake up. Normally I wake up. Uh, like I don't eat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, you can watch my day in life. It's on my YouTube. So if you want that. But I'll tell you guys right now. So I wake up. Um, you know, I don't normally eat in the morning. So I'll go like work out or do something. Get like, you know, get my body moving a little bit. And then right around like 10, not even like 10. Sometimes like eight. In the, it's normally like eight in the morning. I get up and I just start working. From there, you know, I pretty much just work to like 12 to, and then I'll maybe I'll like go to the gym again, I'll eat, and then I'll then I'll work from like, it sounds kind of boring, but I'm just telling, I'm just keeping it real with you guys. And then I'll work again, probably from like 12 to five to six. And then later that day, I'll like go do something, you know, hang out with friends or whatever. But it's pretty much I'm working, you know, really around the clock, you know, I'm always on my phone, I'm always working, I'm always doing something, I'm always hustling, but I'm just keeping it real because, you know, the reality is, is, you know, we're just all kind of sitting here on our laptops, you know, like a bunch of nerds. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're a bunch of nerds. <laughs> That's true, though. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's uh, let's look at another question. We have one uh, question from Vi, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Visk, V-I-S-K on Spotify. Every chain says they have solved the blockchain trilemma. How does ICP position itself as a better alternative to reach consensus when there are so many unique ways to do so? Hmm. I mean, I think what ICP is the problem ICP is solving is a, you know, a problem that really no other blockchains are even like really looking to tackle. Uh, ICP is like, you know, one of the most ambitious projects in, you know, the entire crypto ecosystem trying to, you know, just completely replace traditional IT, you know, coming after Amazon web servers, stuff like that. So I think it's, you know, there, you know, there's a reason there's a 20 year roadmap and all that stuff. I think it's going to be a long, you know, work in progress It's not going to be something that happens overnight. But I definitely believe, you know, the technology is really that good. The technology is there. And I do believe ICP, you know, can replace traditional, you know, IT. Yeah, I, I agree, too. I think with traditional consensus, consensus, you can have things like money and you like, you know, you want like not anybody to control it. You want it to be like on there forever. Nobody can turn it off and on. But with ICP, I think it's more than that. Like ICP can do that and it can do that very well. Like ICP could be a store of value cryptocurrency, I think at least a token. But uh, what's what's more important about the internet computer is you can run, and Dominic talks about this all the time, you can run apps on it. Like you can run the application on it and it can be ultra secure. So instead of just being a smart contract, like a little snippet of code, you can run a whole thing of code with video, pictures, whatever. And the whole thing is running on chain and it's ultra secure. It's not, not hard to hack and stuff like that. So I think, I think that's what, what makes it special. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, read another question. Let's see. We have one. Uh, we have one from Judex ICP. I hear Definity gives grants to startups on ICP. What's the criteria to get one? Or what type of project should come for grants? Yeah, to be completely transparent on that, that's not really my field. I'm not the Definity <laughs> you know, grant developer guy. Yeah. So I would say go on the website and you can look. And they probably yeah. got a lot of stuff on there. So. Yeah, but I, I, I would give you two. I would say this, you know, if you are looking to make a startup, do it. You know, Definity is giving out developer grants. So, you know, we want builders. So we need builders here. So, yeah, go and build. Yeah, there, there are stuff like there's the I've, I've seen the website. There's developer grants and they also have community grants. The community grants do uh, events, uh, education, which and which content. is like education and content. So figure out which one you do. Do you want to make a live event? Do you want to make educational? I think I think a good a, a good example for education is the Motoko Bootcamp that they're doing. They have like a thousand people sign up to learn how to code in Motoko. I think that's excellent. Uh, and content, well, yeah, you have a 
of the IC, a lot of ICP influencers and stuff like that, creating content every day uh, to get new users. Uh, let's see, do you want to select questions? Do you have them on your screen or not? Do you want me to, to keep selecting it for yeah. you, uh, Daniel? Yeah, I'm in the chat right now. Uh, let me address one person said Aaron running on ETH. I think he was referring to my quality of video. I don't know if my quality of video is horrible. But, <laughs> well, I'm not, guys, I'm not on the normal setup. So it is what it is. We're running on the MacBook Air camera. So it is we're running on the potato. But Aaron's yeah, running one, it. yeah. One question I see uh, from Damtax, how do you I how do you plan to manage many more creator coming in future, like in the next few years? So I think are you it's a question he's I think he's trying to ask, are you you know, the influx of content creators coming to ICP, or is he asking me, you know, how am I going to manage myself as a content creator in a couple of years? What, what is it? What do you think he's, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he's trying to say. Okay. Aaron yeah. Running on ETH. <laughs> I'm still laughing at that. No, Aaron told me he was on the run. He was like, Hey, I'm on the run. I'm going to be on my laptop. And I said, yes, that's perfectly acceptable. And we're honored to have you here. Uh, whatever setup it is that you have. Yeah, of course. Elizabeth Warren got me in the run after she got her anti-crypto campaign going. So, you know, we're out oh, here running right. around and shit, but. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. Yeah, okay, let's let's take a, another question. Uh, let's see. They, they're just saying, Judex, explain your question. <laughs> your question answered. All right. Um, let's see. Let's look at a couple more questions. We have one. Uh, from Jill uh, Jibril Ahmed, any plan to bridge to Algorand ecosystem by utilizing their evolving market and with its new launch of Algo Kids that's open door to other chains uh, to bridge to Algorand with its fast system like ICP? I don't know if that's a question for Aaron. Aaron's not a developer, so that's probably, I think it's more like ask him questions about <laughs> what it's like in the Definity offices in, in Switzerland, uh, stuff about influencing and stuff like that. Content creation. Uh, content, creation. Yeah. content creation, I think, would be the. Uh, the best questions. Uh, let's see. We're going to miss this one out. Uh, building the suspense and hype. All right, so we'll we'll wait for more questions. Uh, okay, there you go. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Important type of different account. Can't keep wondering. Okay, yeah, they're asking more technical questions that I also don't know <laughs> about seed phrases in the uh, Bifinity wallet. So go go contact the support for those type of questions. Uh, don't put on Twitter a support because you'll get a bunch of bots. Let's see. Um, oh, we have a question from Dantex. If someone is a creator, either music, any type of content, uh, what will be the first step to take to get in touch with the, proce with the process of getting their product on chain or distribute on chain? Yeah, so when it comes to music or that, you know, kind of stuff, I I can't answer that question. Just to be yeah, to, to, to be honest, on ICP, the only one that I know of is Canistore and D Social. So D Social is decentralized video, and the the problem with a lot of these is a lot of the tech is really, really, really good, really advanced, but there's not a lot of people, and you have things like YouTube. And they're, I mean, we're on YouTube right now. They're owned by Google. We're not, not trying to criticize them or anything. They're owned by Google. They're centralized, but there's, but everybody uses it, right? So I th I'm, I'm all for using these, uh, these social media platforms like Twitter, Discord, YouTube as a bridge to onboard people onto Web3 applications, right? So you can start here and then bring our way to OpenChat, bring our way to the social. The other one is Canistor. And uh, I don't understand it completely, but I think you, you have licensing, so you can license your music and your music becomes an NFT and then, you know, this whole stuff. So go on their website and read it. Uh, but yeah, again, <laughs> neither I or Aaron are devs. We're also not financial advisors. None of this is financial advice. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, questions, questions about... Uh, about uh, content creation and stuff, and you, uh, you yeah, know, I'm actually gonna go on a let me go on a little rant real quick about the whole. Go ahead. Just touching about the social media decentralization and you know all that stuff. I personally believe that in crypto, you have to be realistic in the fact you got to understand we're trying to get the technology in the most amount of users' hands. That's the most important thing. So when you're looking to build whatever. Make sure it's actually scalable and it has the potential to get in a lot of people's hands if you know you're really ambitious and you want the project to succeed. That's probably the most important thing. At the end of the day, all this, you know, all this stuff, it's cool, it's cool. But if we can't get into people's hands, then it really doesn't matter. And I think it's one of the biggest things we got to focus on in the ICP ecosystem is, you know, making everything easier. You know, people coming in from, you know, just 
normies, people who aren't have never, you know, even heard of Ethereum or anything coming in the ICP, you know, it can sometimes be a little bit difficult and making that onboarding process a lot smoother will allow ICP to actually scale a lot more. So I think that's something that's very important and something that a lot of people need to, you know, think about when, you know, even when you're just producing content or producing, you know, making an app or something, you know, you have to make it easy for people. Dumb it down. Do not, do not yeah. make it complicated. Make it very, very easy for people. Yeah, absolutely. I, I agree. Uh, I think my, uh, one of my favorite ones that just looks simple and the UI is simple. And a lot of times that gets me angry if I want like more functions and more stuff. But open chat, like open chat is one of my favorite apps that just like it just I look at it. It looks just like any messaging app. Like I click on a person, I send them a message, I click send like that's it. And uh, not to criticize any other apps or anything like that. And there's other apps that I like because they're complex, right? Uh, DG, DG. Uh, super complex for NFT hunting, but I love it. I like that it has all that stuff because that's a specific purpose. But uh, but yeah, th those are some good stuff. Uh, oh, look, DK Lord is watching us. What, what's up, DK Lord 89? Normies are cringe. They will buy their ICP bags when it's a hundred US dollars or more. Hey, maybe. Um, I'm not going to talk about price, but it, it could happen. Um, we have a we have a, another question from Daniel James. Uh, what KPIs are Definity focusing on in the market division? Uh, I think I think that's also uh, not not like a question for for Aaron. I, I, saw, I saw some of that in the community grants. It, it's, it's really hard to understand, uh, Daniel. All right, let's see. How would Aaron evaluate the current outreach and success of Fast Blocks? Yeah, so I'm not gonna comment on that because to tell you the truth, right now, um, you know, William's one of my good friends. I think William's one of the best. You know creators in the ICP space. And I'm just not going to comment on it because truthfully, I don't even know. I don't know. So I'm not, I'll tell you guys right now, like my focus during the day and everything is really on the shit I'm doing. Of course, you know, of course, a part of the shit I'm doing involves everyone else. So I'm sometimes, you know, looking at other people's stuff, but I'm not looking, I'm not checking up on fast blocks, you know, stats. So don't know. Tell you the truth. But William's right, really another question. Paul William. Another question from Lil Poppy. What are the things you enjoy most about content writing? So uh, I'm assuming he's content writing, like content creation, all that. I mean, I've been doing content my entire life. I've been making YouTube videos literally since I was like seven years old. So it's been something I've done my entire life. And I think I really just, you know, I genuinely just enjoy connecting with people and just making content. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just, you know, I like just communicating. It's pretty fun, you know, having people to interact with online and all that, but I do genuinely like feel, you know, within myself that I definitely like it because, you know, it's really hard. I'll say to anybody like people think content creation is the easiest thing. They think it's, oh, they see these influencers like, oh, you know, shit, you know, so easy, so easy. It gets, you know, there's days you wake up and you're like, fuck, I don't want to post. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to do this and that. But, you know, just for me personally, I'm posting every day. You guys, if you follow me on Twitter, you know, I'm tweeting every day. I'm posting TikToks. I'm, you know, working on my YouTube channel. So all that stuff. But I think, you know, it's not for everyone. I will say that once again, you know, content creation isn't for everyone, but I will say if you do have some sort of interest, I'd say probably go for it because I'm super, super bullish on content creation and social media as a whole. So. Yeah, I agree. Whenever I first started making videos uh, for ICP, the first video, the reason I made it was because uh, because I, I it was really hard for me to understand how to stake on ICP. There was like these long articles and I think there was like one like hour long video <laughs> on how to stake and i was just like oh my gosh bro like i thought i was like kind of smart because i'm not like a developer i don't code or anything but i thought i was kind of smart like i'm the type of guy that has a gaming computer like i like to play computer games i download stuff you know like like mate like slightly above average user i guess and i thought it was like the hardest thing i was like like canister like neuron the network like what and i'm used to like like i was using other things and it was just like click here to stay <laughs> like you know like very simple so yeah. that that's why i that's why i made a vid like the first video you can you can if, yeah you can if you type on google violet blockchain you'll see my first video like like two years ago like a year and a half ago or something well by numbers technically two years ago i think and um i made it because I, I thought it was hard i was like dude if i learned how to do this like I can explain it to someone else in like seven minutes or 10 minutes or something and in depth in, in 10 minutes. And that's why I started like that's why I like making videos because because I thought like the tech was really impressive. But I thought a lot of people like were 
just not even gonna like not like not even right so that that's why i started that at least me yeah but uh and that's <laughs> Yeah, that's really cool. And I really like how you bring that up. You know, once again, I'm going to hammer on it. Like we got to make, you know, us as ICP community, we got to make this simpler. We have to dumb it down. You know, I'd say probably the, one of the probably the biggest problem and the whole internet computer is the fact that it's very, you know, it's it's a slow onboard, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to understand. And I think, you know, creating educational content, things like that to get people to actually understand because a lot of people... The problem is what a lot of people get into is, you know, they're, you know, they're a developer or even like, you know, me just making content or something. And they're in this crypto ecosystem. They're hopping on Twitter every day. The only people they talk to are crypto people. You know, they're not really talking to anybody outside in the, you know, just normal people anymore. And they get in these, you know, echo chambers and they think, hey, you know, everybody understands the blockchain. Everybody understands this and that. And the reality is, is it's not the truth. And you got to dumb it down. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not. I remember. Yeah. I remember I, I used to buy that. Well, I still buy NFTs, but I used to buy like more NFTs. Um, and my girlfriend would be like, what are you doing? Why are you buying these like dumb dinosaurs on, on your phone? And I'm like, no, 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 you don't understand. It's a dinosaur on the blockchain. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. it's like a, a lot of people just don't get it um, because it's because we're not there yet, but we will be. And yes. um, like, I, I agree with, with, uh, with Dom, Dominic Williams, uh, with emphasizing like, we called this a canister because it's not a smart contract. It does more things and blah, blah, blah. And I, like, I agree. I know, you know, the technological uh, like basis of a canister is far superior, right, than, than any like smart contract on ETH or on Solana. But at the same time, like if you tell a normal person, like if, like if you tell a normal person that doesn't know anything like, oh, this is a smart contract. Like people know what a contract is. It's like a paper that you sign. Yeah. And if it's a smart contract, well, then it's a paper that you sign on the Internet, right? Like you even if you don't know what it is, you know what it is. And when you say canister, it's like, well, first of all, I'm not even sure. Like, well, like what is a canister? Like, like, like I like I think like, is it where you put your coffee like that metal thing? Like, yeah. and then I, I don't know. I think I have like a barrel of oil. Like, I, I, I just I don't like I don't get it that much. But uh, but I think we can we can uh, ch fix that to where people kind of understand it or like the network nervous system or something. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. the, the, the names are really cool. Right. Like they're really cool, but they don't like you don't. Like if you're dumb, you don't know what they mean, which which is me. I didn't know what they yeah, meant. Yeah. <laughs> I completely understand. I I completely agree with what you're saying. I, I completely you know I know that too. The terminology is pretty difficult, and I think it's definitely something. It's a heavily debated thing in the Definity ecosystem. You know, I'll make it very clear. I'm on the side of we need to dumb it down. I'm I completely agree with what Victor's saying. Um, I think you know the term, some of the terminology is pretty confusing, and yeah, but hopefully you know we'll see what happens. You know, I think just you know, once again, just education, all comes down to education. We got to make it easier. We got to make it so people understand things. And I do think, you know, network nervous system, you know, it's, it's kind of, of course, you know, it's talking about the brain, you know, the nervous system and the brain and all that. And I think, I would say most people are probably not going to make that, you know, whatever connection. They're not going to be like, Oh yeah. Network nervous system. I'm talking about the brain because the neuron and all yeah, that. I, I know, I know, I know I did. And I, when I first saw like that button, like dissolve delay, I, like I have to like think about it, like dissolve delay and then I have to do it. Um, yeah, like if 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 I would have come up with those things and I'm not, I'm not criticizing them because they already did it and we gotta you know teach people what all these things mean or whatever. But I think it could have been called like start timer <laughs> or something like that or uh, net, network nervous system like network governance right or maybe I don't know something like that. But without without criticizing the names because I I do also appreciate that the names are like cool and different i think it matters that it's different so people don't think it's because i i don't want people thinking like icp is the same as ETH, like eth right because it's not it's better um and let's read, let's read some more questions uh one more questions you have let's see uh i just had a really cool one okay let's read this one from judex what idea or advice would you give to someone who wants to start uh, content creation the number one thing I will say is do not overthink it. This is a huge thing. Everyone thinks, oh, because you watch all these influencers online and they're paying, you know, a million plus bucks for the team. Do not overthink content creation. Just pick up your phone and just start recording. That's literally what I did. If you go on my TikTok at Aaron Bremser and you scroll all the way down, it takes a long time. You'll see that I have videos that are absolutely horrible. You know, I was making them on my phone just like this with like a lamp that I have right here and just making like shitty TikToks. But eventually, you know, people started to like them. I started to improvise on that whole thing. And I will say that just do not overthink making content. Just go out there and just post shit. And eventually you'll figure out, you know, 
learn as you build, you know, eventually you're going to, after a couple of videos, you're going to say, Hey, the audience like this, the audience did not like this. You know, the audience in the comments saying I should change up this, maybe I should change it up. And then you improvise and then you keep, you know, you garner your tribe and all that stuff. So I think it's just don't overthink it. Just fucking post. That's all I'll say. I agree. I agree with that. That's some good stuff. Oh, let's see. Can you take complex topics and make them easy to understand for the average reader, especially those coming into ICP blockchains from other blockchains? Yeah. Well, that's something I, if you look at the floods I posted, if you go to my Twitter account and look at my pinned tweet, that's one of the things I've tried to, you know, a big thing I, you know, when I started really posting content that I see, something I, you know, you know, my kind of whole thing coming in the, you know, I see and all that is I'm just trying to make it simpler. I think the greatest thing you can do is just make dumb things down. I've said it like 20 times this live stream, but when you're making content, try and figure out ways to make it very easy for people to understand. I understand for some con like concepts, it's like a technical thing and it has to be really confusing and all that stuff. But at the same time, you know, you're a just try to dumb it down and make it as easy as possible. And the dumber you make it, the interesting thing is, is the more attention you'll receive because more people will understand it. And when more people understand it, they're going to like it more because, you know, they feel a connection between the posts. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, who this one? This one's a tough question. What uh, what does Aaron think of Definity Swaps marketing coming from Daniel James, Infinity Swaps head of marketing? <laughs> I think you guys do a great job. I mean, you guys are out here posting content, doing live streams. Like you guys are everywhere. You guys got the newsletter. I think you guys are doing a great job. I mean, I, you guys clearly understand how important content is and you guys are, you know, taking advantage of everything. And, you know, content's one of these things where it's like you start out and you might, you might have a hundred subscribers or something, but eventually it just continues to grow. And it's really a game. If you never stop and you never quit making content, you're eventually going to have a ton of followers. You just cannot quit. Like if you yeah, get, literally, yeah, you just literally cannot quit. That's the one rule is just do not quit. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Literally, uh, if you have any product, if you post something every day, people know who you are. You know, this yeah, there's this uh there's this boot, there's this boot company. I bought some boots in Mexico from really nice boots. I bought some ostrich boots, like these are so expensive in the United States, by the way. Here they're like affordable. But uh it, it was like this girl, and what they do is they have these WhatsApp people, they send you WhatsApp messages. And and I and I promise you this, you know, this girl has been sending me WhatsApp messages for the past two years, like every single day. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and 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 every time, sometimes I mean I don't buy things. Every time I get a message, I don't buy things. But every time I get paid or have some money and there's like, oh, dude, I do need some new shoes. Like I do need a new belt. And it's there. Like it's there all the time, all the time. And uh, and I think and I think that's what matters. Like right now, people watching this still know like Infinity Swap is here, right? Infinity Swap is doing development. Aaron Bremser is here. Like these are live projects that are doing great things. And it's on people's minds. They know it's like it's not a dead project and it's available and you can use it and it's growing and stuff like that. And I think that's also important for content for anything or anybody. Um Anything you'd like to add, Aaron? I know you told me you had to go in a, in a couple of minutes. Yeah, so I guess last thoughts because I had a run here. Um, I would say produce if you can't code. If you're not a coding guy, you're kind of like me. You know, I tried doing the whole coding thing, and I was like, after a couple of months, I'm like, you know, not for me. Produce content. You might like it. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe you can contribute in some order way. But try and contribute to the ICP community. And I will say this: in the industry, specific industry. You know, ICP, there is a ton of room for you to, you know, become somebody in this community and make a career out of Web3. Making a career out of Web3, people think it's something that's, you know, super hard and super far out there. But, you know, it's can be very it can be done very quickly and not very quickly, but it can be done if, you, you know, you produce content and you're posting consistently and you're doing all the right steps and you're networking and all these things. And I'll just say, go out there and try. Try if you really want to do Web3 and all that. Go give it a shot. Go give it your all. That's what I'll say. Good. Thank you for those words, Aaron. And I agree completely. Uh, Web3 and ICP, it's not just about a token, right? There's many currencies or cryptocurrencies that are just about the token, like Bitcoin. Bitcoin is about the token and, like, and the philosophy behind the token, right? Decentralized assets. Nobody can shut it down, whatever. But at the end of the day, that is like the product, right? Bitcoin is the product. With with something like ICP, it's not just the tokens. A lot, I hear a lot of people complain. I don't like talking about price, and they're like, "Well, I, the price, blah blah blah." Like the price is gonna move up and down or stay the same or whatever, right? I like nobody knows. Yeah. With the technology, right? Owning things on the internet, like owning an article, 
owning music, like betting whether a video will become mm-hmm. viral or not. Like all of this stuff are huge opportunities that, that again, not financial advice, but if, if I'm looking at it and speculating, the first people to get there are going to be like the pioneers and the first ones, like the Web3 pioneers. That's a cool name. I might name something that. I hear by copyright Web3 pioneers, but the, the Web3 pioneers um, is going to take off. Like you're going to own so much stuff, like so much content, so much. Like if there's a lot of stuff that that is that is good, that it's growing, that it's going to grow. And uh, and there's and there's going to be a uh, uh, place, uh, uh, companies or uh, like DAOs and companies like like Bitfinity Wallet, uh, Infinity Swap and all of that uh, uh, being a part of it. And also the you, the, the viewers watching this. You are a part of this Web3 Pioneer ecosystem. So so thanks for joining us. Uh, any other last words? I, any more questions from the audience? Yeah, I got, I got last words right here. Make sure to go follow me on Twitter at Aaron Bremser underscore. You can follow me on TikTok at Aaron Bremser, on YouTube at Aaron Bremser, at, on Instagram at Aaron Bremser. You can guys <laughs> go follow me on all platforms. I'm everywhere. I want to connect with you guys. If you have any questions, please DM me. Um, big things are coming from my end. I just want to let you guys know that, you know, I'm building, I'm hustling every day and yeah, let's make ICP great. Let's go. All right. Awesome. Let's make ICP great. Thank you for joining us, Aaron. Again, his name is Aaron Bremser, his social media, Aaron Bremser. It's all going to be down there. I'm going to post it by the way, send, send me all those links. Uh, so I, it's, if it's faster than me, you search links. I only posted your Twitter, uh, but go follow him. Go do all that stuff. Follow us too. Give us that like and subscribe. Uh, I'm Victor and